We need to keep the engines running and the wheels rolling in, in terms of like this university and really the rest of the economy to make sure that we're not acting only out of fear and then creating all kinds of other mayhem that's going to impact people's lives. Certainly there's been a lot of people protecting themselves and using their own personal protective equipment like masks and things like this and hand sanitizers. And in certain situations that's good stuff to do, but you know, it's really the devil's in the details there. And so most of the masks that people wear aren't really high filtering and so they're not going to provide the same level of protection that like healthcare workers would want to have, right, or like lab workers would have. They're also difficult to breathe through for long periods of time and so they'll be very uncomfortable uh, for extended periods. and. The likelihood that someone would continue to wear an N95 appropriately as they went through their day is very unlikely because of comfort issues. And so people are going to end up touching their face, touching their mask, and that's, this is like the thing we want to do least of. So when we put masks on that are inappropriate, there's a good chance we're going to keep fidgeting with it and we're going to do exactly the thing that we're trying to break behaviorally, which is touching our face. And then in terms of like sanitizers and things, there's an expectation that this virus, that it has some ability to hang out on surfaces for hours or maybe even a couple days, but the rate of like self-inoculation after touching a contaminated surface and, and what that pretends for, for transmission is really not known. So we don't have a good understanding of like how important that is versus the respiratory droplet transmission. And so a lot of effort is spent on deconning surfaces and, you know, washing hands is good because we'll touch our face, right? Um, but but we don't know for sure if that's like a double digit percent of transmission or if it's a really minor about, uh, portion of transmission and most of this is just people talking, coughing and, and breathing in the infectious uh, you know, respiratory droplets. The most important thing is sort of limiting your, your interaction with other people, right? So you want to, we say social distancing, right? So that's, that's to try and get you outside of that couple meters contact range, right? Where if someone's sick and you're near them, you know, you're, you have, you've, you've distanced yourself enough that you're, you're less likely to become infected by them.